This video is an example problem in static equilibrium. We have a horizontal beam that's 26 kilograms in mass, 4 meters long. We have two supports, one 0.5 meters from the right end and one 2.4 meters from the right end. We have a 55 kilogram person that right now is in between the two supports, but the person is going to walk to the left end of the beam past that left support. The calculation to be done is to find the distance of the person from the left end when the beam starts to tip, when the beam starts to tip. So on the left side here, we have a sketch of the uh, situation. I've uh, got the person started here between the two supports, but then showing the person out here. X, the quantity we're to calculate, is this distance from the left end to the person when this beam starts to rotate. When this beam starts to rotate, F2, that force will be zero. The uh, axis of rotation is going to be here at the, at the left support, and the beam is going to start lifting off of this support, so F2 will be zero. We can take advantage of that. Uh, so you should label the various dimensions that are present here. The center of mass of this uniform board is at two meters, uh, four meters length, so half of that locates the center of mass. So let's see if we can make use of the um, fact that the just the instant before the uh, board starts to tip, the sum of the torques do equal zero. So the beam creates a torque. The beam has a mass of 26 kilograms, then times 9.8 produces a weight. How far is the beam from the axis of rotation, the center of mass of the beam from the axis of rotation? Well, two meters to the center of mass, 2.4 meters to the point of support, so 0.4 meters between them. I'm using the convention that a counterclockwise rotation is a positive uh, torque, so this weight of the beam is trying to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction, so I bring that in as a negative term. The person also creates a torque. Uh, the person now is out here and the person's weight here is going to try to make the board, the beam, rotate in a counterclockwise direction, so that comes in as a positive. How far is the person from the point of support? Our torques are force times lever arm. The forces and the lever arms in this problem are perpendicular, so I don't have to put in uh, any uh, calculation to find a component. Everything here is perpendicular. but the weight of the person, and then the person is a distance x from the left end. The left support is 1.6 meters from the left end. So 1.6 meters here minus x, that gives us this distance in between the left support and the person. So just kind of shaded in here in red. Um, 1.6 minus x describes this red distance, the lever arm for the force of the person. The fulcrum on the right, F2, well that would be 1.9 meters away if uh, we ended up using it, but as I said, F2 is going to be a zero as this board starts to lift off. The left fulcrum, here we have a situation where the force upward, this F1, it's not zero, but its lever arm is zero. The lever arm is zero meters. F1 acts right at the axis of rotation. So consequently, that's not going to contribute any torque. And we have just one equation, one unknown. X is the only uh, unknown left for us to analyze. So we calculate the torque for the beam, the torque for the person, and we have a uh, distribution here. The torque for the person breaks into two terms, one just a number, 55 times 9.8 times 1.6. The other, 55 times 9.8 times minus x, produces this term 539x. The two F1 and F2 terms have dropped out, they're, they're zero. F2 is zero as a force, F1 has zero lever arm. And calculating, gathering together numbers, take the 539x to the right side, and then dividing, we find 1.41 meters for the value of x. Is this in some way reasonable? Is it reasonable? Yes, because it's to the left of the left support. 
we have a distance of 1.6 meters all the way back to this fulcrum. 1.4 meters is uh, a reasonable number. It's to the left of the fulcrum. A second reason that it is reasonable, the person has a mass of 55, the beam has a mass of 26. This is roughly double, so double the weight. So to create the same amount of torques in these two terms, we need the beam to be twice as far, the center of mass of the beam to be twice as far from the fulcrum as for the person. And that's where we're ending up here, 1.4. If I put it in here, roughly that's 0.2. This was 0.4. I have double the mass here compared to the beam. So it's reasonable. We have a more force here, but smaller lever arm. And those two torques do, in fact, add to zero. So what are the values of the contact forces? What are the values of the contact forces when the beam starts to tip? Well, again, F2 is zero. That's the uh, contact force over on the right support. That one's zero. And we now just sum up the forces in the y direction. F1 and then the two weights of the beam and the person are negative numbers. And we calculate F1 is roughly 794 newtons. We can go a little further and just check to see if uh, we've done this correctly. In calculating the torques, you can use any point in the problem as the axis of rotation. So I'm going to use the right end of the beam as the axis for the torques. So the person, 55, 9.8, and 4 meters is the length, minus 1.41. This will be the distance from the right end of the beam. And then the center mass of the beam is two meters from the right end. And then we have the, um, I unrounded it here from looking at my calculator. I prefer to use uh, numbers that are not rounded off in inside a calculation. So we have the F1 force, and that fulcrum is 2.4 meters from the right end. So let's see if these torques add up to zero. We said that we were just looking for that uh, sort of critical point when the beam just starts to tip and the torques are, are balanced still. Um, so add up these numbers, do the calculation yourself, but you do find that uh, the positive and negative torques do add to zero. This uh, does check out. If you'd like some other, uh, look at some other short problems and short lectures on physics, introductory physics, they're listed. My YouTube videos are listed at physics.gpclements.com. Astronomy videos at astronomy.gpclements.com. You'll see a list of what's available. You do not need to register. There's nothing to buy at this site. It's just for your convenience to find my YouTube videos. After you watch a video on YouTube, I appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel.